Okay, folks, it's your buddy Mike Messier, Mike's Instant Movie Review. Saw two movies tonight, uh, Halloween Night 2024. Uh, so now I'll discuss the first one, Alone on a Mountain in Maine. Uh, interesting movie. Uh, once again, uh, give Hollywood credit or filmmaking credit. Uh, they always cast really, uh, not always, but often cast really good child actors. Uh, the kid, all, actually all the kids, but the kid especially who played the lead in this thing, I would guess about a 12-year-old actor playing a 12-year-old character in 1939. Was that the First World War or the Second? Uh, or maybe that was the Great Depression. In any regard, uh, this kid, basically like a Tom Hanks castaway type of situation. Uh, him and his uh, two brothers and his father go up a mountain. Uh, this is the oldest son. Him and his dad have kind of this rivalry. They're two stubborn guys. And um, I mean, I don't know if the movie really pushed that envelope, you know, as much as the real life situation probably did. There is a book. This is a true story or based on true events. So the kid and his father have this ongoing power struggle the kid doesn't like the fact that his dad's a traveling salesman and he's traveling all the time. And this is where the movie kind of took its first interesting point for me. Uh, you see, I used to go to Maine a lot for this Maine Media Workshops film school. I was an actor in residence there and there was this uh, time, I think in 2007, I did a few scenes with this uh, actress who was actually in this movie. So she was very, uh, uh, you know, very pretty, obviously, back then and still is. So here she is, and she's talented, and um, she emotes well. And uh, she was also on a TV show several years ago, The Sex Show, The Kinsey Sex Show, I think on HBO. And she was also in a movie... I had this experience before where I went to see a movie and her name came up in the credits and I said, I think I know that person. And she played Meryl Streep's daughter in It's Complicated. So the actress in question is Caitlin Fitzgerald. She actually also did a movie uh, with my buddy, um, the gentleman that's been on the Mike Messier. I've interviewed him a few times, uh, Michael McLone. She was in one of the... Um, McMullen Brothers Christmas movie as one of the wives, I think. She might have been Michael's wife in that, uh, their character. So in any regard, I know this woman. Uh, you know, I did. Uh, we haven't kept in touch. Uh, if you need evidence of this, somewhere on one pro wrestling and sports fan channel in the archives, I think I have a couple of short films we did together. But she's a good, very good actress, you know, and I, I mean, you know, it's one of those things where I, I still, I mean, not to be a goddamn hashtagger, but I feel like even now her full potential as an actress probably hasn't really, um, at least I haven't seen it. Like, I mean, because basically in this, she's playing the mother and I just kind of knew like where the mother character would fit in, crying, trying to hold the family together, all that horse shit. Which she did quite well, but it's kind of like I'd like to see Caitlin in some big, powerful role. And I'm sure she still has it in her. Um, but maybe she's done that and I just haven't seen the right movies. But, uh, you know, in any regard, uh, a friend of mine once said, you always want your friends to do well, but not as well as you. So it's like one of those things where I'm watching her, I'm happy for her in some regard. I don't think we were actually friends at all, but... I am kind of thinking, um, yeah, you know, I mean, in any regard, let's talk about the movie. Um, it was a different time. I think it's always interesting when movies try to um, emulate a foregone era. Like, how did people talk in 1939? What was the level of sarcasm or wit? I mean, it seemed like a hostile time in some regard. People were nervous about the economy. That's the father's excuse for kind of being a hard ass to his sons is he's nervous about the economy and people just, you know, like the mom calls the son Skeeter. I mean, nobody would call a kid Skeeter these days. So it's just one of those deals. If I sound weird, it's because I was biting the side of my tongue, not even the tip of my tongue, 
But I have this new gimmick now where I bite the side of my tongue all the time. There's a person outside walking around. Uh, so, yeah, this movie's good. And basically, you know, we start getting pretty exciting when this kid gets lost on a mountain because he's being a real little asshole. And he's fighting with his brother. He's fighting with his father. He's insisting on climbing the mountain, even though everyone knows it's dangerous. And the little bastard gets lost. And so then we're kind of... Where our movie splits in two. We're with the kid at some times. He's having delusions. He's imagining things. What's that thing? It was a mirage when you like see something that's not there. He's having like this hocus pocus with this fucking bird thing. And then his family is all like, you know, his mom is like Caitlin, her character, the mom is like the first uh, social media person. She's calling all the fucking you know, reporters, and she's calling, she's going through the phone book, and she's calling for help, all this happy horse shit, you know, and basically, like, the role, I mean, as soon as this thing started going, like, okay, Caitlin's gonna have a, a cry scene, and she's gonna have the mom scene, and she's gonna try to, you know, absolve the father of guilt, and, you know, all those things happen, because if you see enough movies, you kind of know where all the fucking things are gonna happen, but, you know, the movie was good, and you're pulling for the kid. I mean, but also, spoiler alert, they kind of, like, spoil the thing because they had some footage, I think, from the 19... Maybe the, the 2000s, like the early 2000s, of the actual guy, like, he lived. It wasn't actually him. It was, like, somebody else, the father or somebody. But they, they had all this footage of people that were there, like the brother and the mother and all this. So you kind of know, like, okay, the fucker lived. You know what I mean? So they do kind of um, tell you what happens, you know what I mean, with with the actual people. But overall, it's a good movie. Alone on a mountain in Maine. See, that's why I don't do nature. I go to coffee houses. I go to civilized places, and I stay in a civilized country. No offense to anyone else, but I take my chances here in the United States of America. I don't go looking to get a passport to some fucking country where they're going to want to put me in jail and chop my head off and all this horse shit. No offense. I stay where I'm welcomed. I stay where I'm safe. You know what I mean? Any regard. Good movie. I mean, it's is it an all-time classic? No. You probably won't even see it, but I thought it was good. Alone on a mountain in Maine. I give it the old thumbs up. Yay!